I think what separates Pites, um, we've been manufacturing batteries here for over 20 years. So now we're able to take our LFP chemistry and install it in different places where before freezing temperatures and weather conditions were a concern, now that is no longer. So one of the first things that, that impressed me is just visually, it looks a little bit different in terms of the form factor compared to some of the other batteries I've seen at the show here. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and today we're coming to you from Inner Solar 2024, the solar conference here in San Diego, California. And this afternoon I'm joined by Jonathan Pearson from Pites, and we're going to be looking at the new Pites V5 LFP battery. So Jonathan, good to see you. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Absolutely, Joe. Thanks. I've always been such a huge fan of Solar Surge, um, and I'm happy to be here today and talk a little bit more about our battery. Great. Well, we're glad to have you here, and now you're part of the Solar Surge content here. Uh, of course, a lot of the content is about new battery technology, and Jonathan, as you know, there have been dozens of new batteries that have kind of popped up on the market over the past year. Absolutely. So can you tell us about the Pites V5 battery? What are the basics of how it, uh, how it works, and what makes it different than many of these other batteries on the market? Yeah, absolutely. I think what separates Pites, um, we've been manufacturing batteries here for over 20 years. It started with our uh, C3 batteries, um, manufacturing those for different Fortune 500 companies. Throughout that experience, we've been able to build more batteries into the e-bike industry. We're actually one of the number one sellers of e-bike batteries here in the United States as well. Um, and through that experience and through that networking, we've been able to jump into the energy storage game. And we're really excited. This is our latest version that's now available here. Um, this is our V5 LFP battery. So Jonathan, uh, the, the, looking at the Pites battery, I think one of the first things that, that impressed me is just visually, it looks a little bit different in terms of the form factor compared to some of the other batteries I've seen at the show here. In fact, this looks almost like a, like a server rack mount type of a form factor. So tell us the basics of how the battery is structured and how it works. Yeah, absolutely, Joe. So um, the V5 battery here, it's structured up to um, many different options as far as how we can have it in our um, enclosures as well as our floor mount right here. We also have the ability to wall mount as well. Some great features here. Um, we're very big into comms here. So with the purchase of a V5 battery, it also will come with bus bars, so we're able to bus up very easily um, and make the installation very easily on the installer side. A as we know, as installers, it is a mess out there sometimes. So what our, we really like to do here at Pites is make it as easy as possible for the installations and installers. Um, so busing up, really what we can do now, it's a 300 amp bus bar, so we're able to actually directly hook up our home run cables into a Solar 15K right off the rip. So there's no longer need for a DC combiner where we used to in the past have to do that. When you have a one solar um, 15K, we can hook directly into it. So that's great for residential use. Um, a lot of more different applications here is we have a Wi-Fi dongle. So now we can do over the air firmware updates. This is huge for installers because now they no longer need to go back to site to run firmware on their computer and download it into the system. This can all just now happen remotely, which is great. So that's another big factor there. Um, some other big factors too is now with our LFP chemistry, with our BMS um, that we are the sole proprietor and manufacturers of, we're able to do C1 charging with LFP chemistry and discharging. So now we can do 100 amps DC per battery. Um, that's charge and discharge. So that is a great, so as we stack up, you know, obviously that amperage increases because everything has been run in parallel with our systems. Um, and yeah, so that's a little bit. And also, I don't think I've mentioned, we also have a heating pad available with this battery as well. So now, with the LFP chemistry for so long in the industry, um, 32 degrees has been the cutoff for charge and discharge, um, which has been huge because um, that really decreases where you can install these batteries. With our heating pad, it turns on at 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So the ambient temperature of the cells communicate with the BMS to let them know to kick on this heating pad. So now we're able to take our LFP chemistry and install it in different places where before freezing temperatures and weather conditions were a concern, now that is no longer a concern. Great. Now for, for those that may not be as familiar with modular batteries, because a lot of what we're seeing now our batteries and inverters sort of being built into one, one enclosure. Right. But I see you have the, the Pites battery here 
uh, shown here with the Solark 15K inverter, which is a very popular inverter if you're talking about um, the off-grid community or the, the, the preparedness community. So I understand that, 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 that there's a compatibility here. But looking at the battery itself, let's just go through the basic specs. So each each block here, because the stack we're looking at here has four, four units, each mm -hmm. block, what are we looking at in terms of uh, storage capacity and, and what's the max power output? Perfect. So each of our batteries is a 5.12 kilowatt hour package. Um, so we're able to have that in parallel. So this right here is a 20 kW stack. Um, another great thing about our battery banks, so with our V brackets, which these are, we can have actually two more be attached to this. So we can run a 30 kilowatt system just like this. But um, our batteries aren't just for residential use. It's for commercial use as well. Um, we're able to actually have 430 kilowatt hours to one site dedicated. So that allows us to be in different markets such as hospital backups, which we have done quite a few projects on, as well as agricultural projects. So um, really what we do here with our design is we start small and build up. Flexibility has always been a key part of our values. And with you know these storage systems, it's not one size fits all. So we have the ability to build up, to build down. You know, If it's mom and dad trying to live off grid, if it's just backup power, to um, make NEM3 more efficient, or if it's to power a hospital in Haiti, that's something we can definitely do. Great, well, I'm, I'm glad you kind of ran through all those different scenarios. Now, one thing I'm curious about, you, you talked about the, the heating element and being able to operate in extreme low temperatures. Uh, this does not look like a weatherproof enclosure, though, to me. Is, is this product able to be installed outdoors? So this is an indoor scenario, but I'm so glad you asked that, Joe, because we do have outdoor rated cabinets that I can show you that will demonstrate how we can use um, outdoor weather with our heating pads to maximize our batteries for extreme temperatures. Okay, yeah, let's take a look at how we would configure this in, a, in an outdoor scenario. Beautiful. Okay, Jonathan, so I see that we've got a couple of different um, cabinets here, different enclosures here. How would the, the Pites battery work? How would it fit in with, with the, uh, the racks here? Perfect. Uh, Joe, this is our V-Box IC. So this is actually our indoor rated cabinet. IC stands for indoor cabinet. Um, this is a 30 kilowatt hour uh, stack right here. We have two stacks of 15 kW stacks right here. So as you can see, this is great. We can have all of our busing right here, run conduit right out and go directly into our inverter system. So this is a 30 kW right here, like I mentioned, but we can have multiple stacks and build up to a bigger system, what it calls for. As you can see, it's pretty industrial, so it can withstand quite a bit. Um, so that's a key feature that we have is robustivity here as well. Okay, and then what about now, I guess, then is this one, is this the outdoor enclosure? Yes. Yes, Joe. It is uh, our V-Box OC, our outdoor cabinet. So with this uh, beautiful thing, um, we can now install outdoor rated uh, batteries. So this is NUMA 3 rated. Um, and with this, we can have multiple of our battery banks together. So with this, we can actually have 21 of these together in one site. So we can build up and build down to, like I mentioned earlier, these bigger systems as well as outdoor rated systems here in California, which is really nice. So thing here with Pites too is we like to be um, very flexible not one system is for everyone so feel free to give us a call we're always happy to help talk about these custom designs and always happy to um, get you exactly what you need dialed in well jonathan i know one of the questions that a lot, a lot of folks out there are going to have of course is you know how much does it cost and i know you can't give me specific pricing but you know if we're comparing sort of trying to compare apples to apples similar kilowatt hour storage mm -hmm. capacity with LFP chemistry, you know, the, the newer, safer lithium iron phosphate chemistry, how does your product compare price-wise with some of the other larger brands that are on the market? Yeah, absolutely. I'm so glad you asked that. So us being the sole manufacturers of our battery systems, of our BMS, of our cell packaging, and our casings, that really gives us a lot of flexibility. Um, we are manufactured in Shanghai and in um, Vietnam, so we are able to actually bring that price from being the sole um, manufacturers and save that cost on to our clients. So we have a great competitive price um, and it's only getting better as we get more efficient with our manufacturing processes and as well as build our team. Um, and talking a little bit more about our team, um, we are 
here locally in the United States and we are here in Latin America as well. We have a local team on the ground as far as as well as we have local service as well. So our technical support team is here and we have a technical support team in Shanghai. So we have 24 hour technical support with all of our battery products as well. If anything were to happen in the field, it, as you commission your first system, we're there to help you every step of the way. Now, if we're talking about solar, solar installers that are out there watching this, where can they buy the product now? Are you selling it direct to installer? Are you selling it direct to homeowner? Or are you selling through distribution? That's a great question. We work with our people here in the industry. So we are big components of distribution channels. So we work with a lot of different um, distribution channels here, NAS, CED Green Tech, um, as well as Solagent, just to name a few, Missouri Wind and Sun, the Power Store. So we are nationwide. So we're able to get you products that you need. Um, our warehouses are in California as well as Dallas. So we're able to get product um, to our distributors if they even need it. A lot of them already have stock of it ready and available. Uh, seven day lead time. So lead time is never an issue with our product. In fact, it's the strength of Pites. Great. Well, folks, this has been an introduction to the new Pites V5 lithium iron phosphate battery. Uh, again, it's designed to interoperate with some of the top uh, 48 volt inverter brands on the market, like the Solark that we had pictured earlier. Um, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos that you're watching on Solar Surge, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Uh, and also make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. So as we have new videos coming out, you know, like we're here at the conference here in San Diego, there's new products coming out. We want to make sure that you stay up to date with all the latest industry and uh, technical information. But uh, folks, that pretty much does it for today's video. I thank you for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. Until next time, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.